Elizabeth yeah. in her new glasses. Back to the future. I feel like I've, um, I'm that X-Men chick. These are uh, some like 80s throwbacks, but the deal is I got them for pickleball. They're really nice and light. And we are becoming lovers of pickleball. So I'm just wearing them today to test them out. Listen, I've been watching Key West called? Waterman. Key West Waterman lately. The guy's got a great intro. How you doing out there if you're watching? I love the way he does the same thing each time. He says boys and girls. He says boys hello and boys and hello, girls. Hello boys and girls. I like that. Yeah. Well, he has a great channel and we're trying to really up our game with spear fishing here in the upper keys so we've been watching his videos lately yeah. so i right red flag here when there's all when there's more boats coming in through adam's cut than there is going out yeah that, is that always kind of worries me a little bit so that's what they, we're seeing they obviously now. know something we don't yes we're seeing more hello we're seeing more people coming in and going out so i'm not sure what that means but uh anyway so we're gonna go out just do um a little a little snorkeling today and maybe pick up a oh, lobster or two. Jay. 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 Yo, hey. Jay. What's up, Jay? Oh. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, guys? All right, so there you go. There you have it. People coming, people going. Yeah. So now, all right, so now our decision as we come out of uh, Adam's Cut is North or South? North or South. What would, which one would you pick? Yeah, North post or down south? below. Where do you think we're headed? Yeah, North yeah. or South? Yeah, which way should we go? We'll make North a comment really quick. I am very sure. Now that guy is going north, obviously. I worry, I always worry about north because we hit more storms north, I think. Yeah, let's go south then. All right, there we go. Elizabeth made the decision. We are going south. Yeah, so, we're gonna that's we're it. gonna head out. We're gonna do some snorkeling today. Um, like Captain Dan said, he got me a new spear gun yes. for my birthday. Yep, yep, um, yep. We don't have it on board today, uh, but we are gonna go snorkel and look for some spots. We have to go really far south to spear. We haven't been in the water for, uh, for me, for a couple of weeks. So we're just gonna go head out and see what we can find. There you go. So there it is, and I see a big rainstorm that way. Oh yeah, but and the wind is picking up, The wind course. is picking up because we just got out here, so that, you know, you know how that goes. Yeah. All right, anyway, here's the deal. Let's go head out there, follow us. It's gonna be an awesome day no matter what, because I have Miss Elizabeth on board. And when I see you guys, by the way, sometimes I go solo, and then I and then I see you guys, and the first thing I'm asked is, "Where is Elizabeth?" Not, "Hey, how are you, Captain Dan? How you been? How was the day? How are you feeling?" No, "Hey, where's Elizabeth?" You know what? It's because they know that we're Dan and Elizabeth. That is true. Whenever I see any of you in public, the first thing anyone says is, "Hey, is Captain Dan here?" Oh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, now I feel a little better. Yeah, because Dan and Elizabeth. All right, I didn't feel... We're like, it's like we're like one persona. Now I don't feel slight. Oh, man. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Let's get out of here and let's go uh, let's go find some wild... Let's just go find an adventure. Yeah, follow us. Follow us. That wasn't what I was That's talking good. about. Ow! He just hit the shit out of me a little. Good job. Good
Now it's the uh, now we measured him once in the water. Yeah, we're gonna double check. This guy looks like I mean his tail looks pretty small, so we gotta make sure. Let's see. He's good. Oh, he's way good. Yeah, he's way. So good. here's the thing. I mean, we have to measure him before you bring him on board, and we did. Yep. But we just double checked. That's we'd all. always double check yeah. because you never know in the water you're moving around, whatever, whatever. We better be safe than sorry. But he's not even close. I mean, he's, he's not even close. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, and so he goes. one. One from the road there. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Look at that. He could, he could almost get out, babe. So when we put those in? Oh, we got to make sure. We close this hatch. Oh. Now, I can't even tell because we got... That was the smallest one, obviously. Yep. Look at that. This way. Other way. So, Dodie. Okay. Oh, that, that one's the mean one. This is the mac. He was mean. He okay. grabbed the whole of your finger. He, sna he snatched my finger so tight. I pulled my skin back, so then he only had glove. But he, it's like he knew. It's like he's like, oh, no, I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah, no, that was, uh, they have those those pinchers in the front, boy. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you a close-up whenever I measure. They can crush a bone without even care. But I can't, like, they could crush a bone, I think. Uh, so now that's the next two. This is the next smallest. The next smallest. Look Which at is that. Still. This is where this is where it has to go. It has to be able to reach this. And looky here. Wowie zowie. Yeah, so Alright, nice. we're gonna open Good this up one. and yeah, I'm gonna let's... hold them tight till it yeah. gets all the way in. There you go. No, no chances. Now, second to biggest, second we thought biggest. we thought this guy, he we is thought he was hef, the one. Dude, he is half teeth. Yeah, he's a beauty. Look too. at this. Wow. Yep, don't slap me. <laughs> yeah, he's got uh, he's not playing around. There. Okay. So right here, right, right there is where he can really crush you. Oh man, he had you by the glove. I no, th not this guy. I was the oh, other oh, dude. Oh, the other one. I was worried that your finger was in there. If your finger's in there, you're screwed. Now I could tell he was getting close. All right, now look at this, yeah, this you one, guys. This oh, he's. he's they, these guys are so strong. I had to hold both of these guys with both hands to make sure I didn't drop them in the water. Nice. Look at that. He's like double the size he has to be. Look, okay, there's that. Yeah. And then look at that. Wow. Okay. okay. Now here's. Let's be careful. Oh, I'm. I'm. So I am so holding him with both hands. Yep. Going in upside down, brother. Okay. All right. Now here's Mr. Mino. This guy. This is the guy that thought he was gonna take a finger off you almost, today. You, know, you almost put a hurting on you. I'm gonna put double gloves on for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Somebody. Yeah, we lost someone lost a leg. Okay. All right. This oh, is the guy, man. He's my a, he's gosh. a beauty. Look he's at a beauty. He's this. Just, and he's perfect. Look at that. All wow. of his legs. Wow. Well, he lost that last one. Oh, okay. it, that was his fight. He was fighting when he was fighting in the bag. Yeah. Wow. And that and it, right there here. There it is. Look at that. That is the pincer right there. He he, he was you, he was not messing around. That whole thing. This entire glove in that little well, mouthy. If you had your finger, you'd have been. Uh, that would have been. Oh, that, I would have been toast. Be so story. shout out to Devane Gloves because yeah. they saved me. They saved my finger today. They saved my digit. <laughs> All right, we're never okay. gonna measure. I no, mean, I am. Like, oh, you I are gonna show them. Okay. All right. Oh, actually, that's this guy's oh, leg. Look at the good. leg. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna eat it. Shoot, do it, do it, do it, do it. Perfect. All right. I just want to show everyone. First of all, look at this. I mean, I don't have small hands. You, you captured the beauty today. Wow. Oh my look gosh. Look at that. He's almost like yeah. He, and then another. Yeah. Like he's the length of the entire. He's the length of the whole. The whole thing. The whole gauge. The whole gauge. Yeah. Wow. All right, buddy. Thank you. Yep. Perfect. All right. Man, oh man. Upside down he goes. He didn't go down easy. That, so that was just, that was just exhilarating. That was perfect. That was yeah. exactly what we would have wanted out. Yeah. In that hole, I saw there was uh, two biggies, yeah. right? But one really monster. And I thought we got it at the first try. That's what I thought. Um, I thought that was the first one I, I got when we got him out, but then and, no. Oh, he came out of that hole like a shot. Yes. You good job with that. Man, you just I watched you too. Nice and careful. Oh yeah. Put I that, never yep. Yeah, go ahead. No, you put that you put that noose around him just nice and easy and bam. I was yeah. like, yeah, here's off. the thing for me. It's like sometimes like we have gone with people who have lobstered a lot and they're like very vigorous and they go down and they're like going as fast as they can. For me, that makes me too anxious. And when I do that, I do that sometimes I get too excited. And, but when I do that, then I'm not as accurate. So for me, I just, I stay at the surface for a sec. I spot them, take a couple of breaths, get myself <laughs> calm. And then I go down and I'm real slow and careful. And that, Snag them. Yeah, when I do that, that always works. Listen, when I try to hurry, I always mess up. And the, and the lobsters get freaking anxiety too. If yeah. you're nice and cool and chill, they are. They don't get excited. You just put that thing around them and bang. Yeah. All right, anyway, that was great. Yeah. All right, super. All right, so okay. definitely got dinner and yeah. uh, let's go get some more. Yeah, on to the next spot. All right, cool.
I hate you, GoPro. Oh, time to go in. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. This is where I got my fingers caught. These are like human teeth. They're like crushers. Look at this. They are, they are like a human being tooth. This guy would have definitely crushed my finger if I'd have got it in there. Okay, we got chased off the reef with that rain and now we are back in the kitchen and we are taking two of those monster lobsters and we are gonna turn them into the most delicious dinner. This is one we have never showed you before. So follow us because you are going to love this recipe. All right, so we're all cleaned up after a nice afternoon out there on the reef and uh, it was like we got thrown in we, we, we ran away from the storm I, I think she told you that so then we're gonna just cook up a really quick dinner because we went out there got dinner and now we're gonna whip it up together we're gonna do like a lobster ginger stir fry is that what it is it's got lobster it's got ginger it's a stir fry so it's gonna have all of that all right I'm basically looking like I'm knowing what I'm doing as far as measuring but I'm, uh, I'm just winging it but I'm going to show you what basically what it is. Yeah, we measure with our hearts. Yeah, we go. We, we like that. So I'm going to throw in some what's called chicken uh, bouillon, but it's it's Asian. It's Chinese chicken bouillon, much different than uh, than uh, the American version. You can find this in any Asian store if you have one. If you're lucky enough to have one, we're, we're not lucky enough to have one. Um, but we we were lucky enough to pass by and find it, and we got it. But you can also get it on Amazon. I've seen it. All right, so uh, with that, I'm going to throw in a tablespoon of, this is a teaspoon, so i got to do a, three of them, of just regular soy sauce. Keep going, man. Light, we like the light sauce. It doesn't much matter at the end of the day. So one tablespoon of that. And really, a really great ingredient is a tablespoon of oyster sauce. It is really salty, so use this sparingly, everyone. But it does taste like, it has like a, I'm not going to say... It tastes like oysters to some degree. This is probably the best one on the market, by the way. So if you in the market for oyster sauce, this is the one. Because the number one ingredient is da, 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 oysters. So pretty good. Or oyster extract, I should say. I am going to do a dollop of, just a dollop of sesame oil. Because we like sesame oil, and I think it'll taste good. And then we're going to do uh, probably, uh, let's see. I would say a teaspoon of Shaoxing Chinese cooking wine, which will burn off. So if you're not into wine, this is more of a flavor enhancer. And then rather than use just regular water, I'm gonna use a little bit of organic chicken broth. And I think I'm gonna use probably about half. So I would say, what is this? this is eight ounces? I'm gonna use like maybe three ounces. There we go. You're supposed to put a little sugar in it. We don't like a lot of sugar, so I'm gonna put a touch in. All right, so we're only gonna put in a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar, because we don't want a lot of sugar in there, but we should just kind of cut down the acidity a little bit. Good amount, I would say a tablespoon. Yeah. Some cornstarch. Let's just be used just to thicken it up later on once the sauce gets in there. All right. I'm just gonna mix this up really good. And you can hear the storm out there, well, still out there. So then we're gonna throw some onion in there that uh, Elizabeth chopped up. The key to your onion tasting the sweetest is all in how you cut it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the lines and then instead of cutting it here, we are gonna cut it in half at the root. So straight down. We have both edges here. We're just gonna chop those off as well. And then, instead of slicing it like this, we're actually gonna follow the natural lines here and just cut right in those lines. I don't know what it is about it, but this way makes the onion taste so sweet whenever you cut it. Just follow those natural ridges. 
and we have some chopped up garlic, and then we have some julienne ginger, which is like Elizabeth's favorite. She loves ginger. I do love ginger. And of course, the star of the show is the lobster. Before we do anything, though, we gotta gotta coat it a little bit with some cornstarch, and then we're gonna fry it lightly, saute it like in oil. And of course, we're gonna we're gonna use a um, avocado oil. It's got a high burn point or smoke point. And I'm just gonna throw it in the bag and toss it around and get it all coated up nice. These are some beautiful lobsters. And they cut up just beautifully. Oh, and we even put in two of Elizabeth's the big horn. The horns off the big lobster. Oh, oh. oh yeah, it's gonna be great. They coat it up beautifully. I've seen this done a lot of different ways. But I didn't want to deep fry them, mainly because I didn't want to use up all that oil. So used up a minimum amount of oil because a wok, as you know, is concave. And you don't have to use as much. And I'm going to um, just fry like, I'll saute these back and forth till I get them nice and crunchy and crispy. Uh, the lobsters, take them out, and then we'll do the vegetables, and then we'll put it all together, and it's gonna just come out just great. There's one of your horns. You know, these two tails were so nice. I think there's like a ton of meat here. I'm so excited about this. Look, look. Now I cracked the horns for you already. So the horns are already cracked, because otherwise you'll get your fingers all, you know, how sharp they are. Scraped up, cut yeah. up. Yeah, thank you for doing that for me. Yeah, yeah. Lobsters are out. Lobsters are almost ready to go. We're going to put them back in in a couple minutes, but they look scrumptious. Did you take a bite of that, by the way? I did not. Hmm. Actually. Take, there's a little piece, there's like a nugget in there that's this not in the shell already. Yeah, look at this one. Look at this. Right, I'll do half and you do half. Oh man. Oh wow. Man. Mmm. There's something about frying it. It locks in the flavor. Holy cow. <laughs> I like that. Holy cow. I'm not a big fried person. Mm. But that, that is pretty magnificent. You just clean the wok out nice. Then I'm going to wait for it to smoke. When the wok smokes, this is what makes the wok um, almost like Teflon, where it's non-stick. But you've got to do it right, otherwise it will stick. So now it's starting to smoke. So what happens is the pores of the of the wok open up, the metal opens up. And when it starts to smoke, that's when you put your oil in. And then we're going to throw in our onions. And then I'm going to also throw in the ginger. I'm going to wait a little bit to throw the garlic in. Get it wilted down a little bit. All right, so we added like half of the uh, green onion. Oh, we didn't throw the green onion. Yeah. Just throw some green onions in there. Give it a little color. Nice aroma. I love the aroma. I need to get nice and wilted. So it won't be long now. Time for the garlic. Alright, time for the sauce. Pause it once or twice. And then it's time for the lot. Smells really good. I know, right? Now I am going to throw in a little bit more of the chicken stock only because of the um, cornstarch really thickened it up really fast. So we'll just boil it up a little bit. Oh, now it's saucy. Now it's saucy. Yep. Wow, look at that. That's really pretty. It's a pretty dish. That's the piece the risen is lost. There it is. You just weep till it just wilts just a little bit. Yeah, and that's it. It's done. Alright. I'm gonna grabbing a couple pieces here, putting it on my white rice. These are some really pretty, pretty pieces of lobster too. Look at that. Excited. I get first bite tonight. Like, oh man, it just came right out of the shell. 
All right, so I do want to put on a tiny bit of mustard. We make our own little mustard here. I have um, the uh, dry mustard. That, and a little bit of onion, and a little bit of rice. Mm. Okay. I'm going to say this. Elizabeth, where do you try this? This, you're going to love this. Yeah. This is right up your alley. Okay, awesome. Flavors are explosive. I am getting the, um, the horn. I love the horn. I've got myself some cauliflower rice. It's just rice cauliflower. I'm not a big rice person. So I do love vegetables though. So rice cauliflower is there for me. I have rice sometimes, but not always. Look at my plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna do any hot mustard, although you guys know I love hot, but I just wanna try it pure. This sauce is amazing, amazing. Lobster is not my favorite. Crabs are my favorite, right? But I do really enjoy lobster. But this is amazing. Ginger and the onions, just, mm -hmm. just something about it is, wow. You get some of the onions in there? Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. That's the, that's the jam right there. It's really good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Personally, I think I would like it a little saucier, but I'm just a saucy guy. You like saucy stuff. I do like saucy stuff. I like it to be like almost like gravy, like swallowing around. But anyway, this, the flavor is amazing to me. I, I can't get over like the onions together with the green onions and the ginger. It's just perfect. Yeah, it's like the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. It's like fresh and bright and delicious, but so freaking good. Okay. By our standards, I if I, I would order this in a restaurant. Yeah, you'd pay real money for this. I would pay money for this. Yes, yep, I would that's absolutely. How we, that's how we know it's it's a success. Yep, I would definitely order this and pay money for it in a restaurant. So that's it, home run. You are the lobster slayer, by the way. Mm. You nailed it. You know what else is good? You look great in that shirt. Mm. <laughs> you really do, I love it. So. We have a new partnership with Slippins. I've been a big fan for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. But they now have fishing shirts as well, sun shirts. So Captain Dan has a set, I've got some. Um, we are so, so grateful. They have agreed to provide all of you a discount code. So we're gonna put that in the description box. Several of you have asked about the dive skins that I've been wearing when we snorkel. Well, I've got great news for you. They have a zillion kinds of patterns, of designs. They're all gorgeous. I love them. They're perfect sun protection. And, you know, we do our best to never touch anything on the reef, right? Like, we're not trying to destroy the reef while we're down there, but occasionally something will brush by your skin and it's not comfortable. So it's really protect your skin. And then these shirts for fishing are gonna be amazing. This shirt is so comfortable. This this shirt, I envision this shirt like after a day of snorkeling and diving. And you know you wanna get out of the stuff that you're in, either wetsuit or the wet shirt that, that you were wearing. And then slide into this and it's so nice and silky and it's, um, how can I say, it breathes. Yeah, so it's, it's just lighter like, like, you don't, than... like, yeah, you're not sweating to death. It's really great. And if it's like too much sun or even a little windy, then on top of your hat or whatever, it's got a nice little hood. It's just, it's just really nice. And you love when we come out of the water to like rinse off. Yeah. Uh, and then you then they just throw this on and it's just, uh, it's really, it's really like a nice beach or boat uh, shirt. It's great. Yeah. I love this thing. So, great sun protection. Yeah. Love I it. don't want to wear it fishing. Not actually fishing because I'm afraid to get it dirty. <laughs> I don't want to get it full of blood, uh, but at the end of a fishing day, yeah, I love this thing. This is great. It's very comfortable. Yeah, so. and it looks really good on you, so, too. Thank you. Yeah, it feels good. Okay. All right. All right let's anyway, go let's eat some more. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. You know, everybody that we that we know and that we see on Instagram, because we watch Instagram, too, everybody makes lobster the same way. They either put it on the broiler or they put it on the barbecue. Um, how else? 
They split in half. Sometimes they do some Jamaican style, but for the most part, everybody does it the same way. We're always looking for like new and innovative ways to cook it. So like uh, last year or the year before, we put out the lobster Cantonese style, which was great. And we did lobster with black bean sauce. That was freaking awesome. And now we got a new one. This lobster ginger onion is just amazing. So we're gonna continue to look for new and innovative ways to do fish and do lobster so you guys can experiment at home as well. So, bon appetit. That recipe was really a home run. Honest, all right, so here's the deal. That's the first time we tried it. Yeah. So it's not like we do it all the time. Listen, we purposefully go out and find new recipes that we can try to share with you. Yeah. And sometimes they're great and sometimes you never see the footage. Some you don't see. <laughs> sometimes we'll record something and we're like, that sucked. Ugh. We cannot post that. But oh. this was great. Those would be ultimate bloopers. Oh. Like gagging on oh, it's like, this. Ew. Is terrible. What do you think? Ew, no. <laughs> and this was going down in the ones that we'll do in the future. Oh yeah, like when we're not filming, we'll still make this for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we'll make this for, for people. It was it was a home run, it was great. Yes, yeah, so good. You did great with catching them, that was a great thing today. I'm tired, I'm kind of beat, it was a long day today. I mean, you know, catching the them, try. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I have to put up with? You guys think it's easy, it's not easy, I just want you to know that. But it's a pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure. All right, anyway. so. So, okay, okay, really quick. So we have a couple of things coming. We have a um, review of some amazing food coming your way. And we also recently took a trip to Belize. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, we went into the jungle, we did some really cool stuff um, near the water, but we didn't do any fishing. So do you wanna see that video? Do you wanna see what we did on vacation? Um, we always are curious. We got a lot of flack if we do a no fishing video. So yeah. do you guys even care about right. uh, about Belize? I mean, we we did a lot of research about Belize before we went. We sure did. On YouTube. So yeah. I don't know if, you know. Yeah, let us know. Drop a comment. You want to see yeah. it. You don't want to see it. Maybe we do a members only. If you're a non-member. Oh, yeah, there's an idea. Yeah, if you're a non-member, do you want to see it? Like, mm -hmm. if you guys will watch it, we'll post it. If you're a non-member, why? I'm just curious. Well, if you're not a subscriber, I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. No, I'm not talking to them. <laughs> anyway, let us know because we want to make content that you love. So yeah. just let us know. Anyway, we love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you always for the support. And um, yeah, for our members, we have lately been doing early access to our videos. So if you're a member, you're seeing this early. Um, and right. some additional videos for our members because we really want the membership to be valuable. Um, and if you have not subscribed yet, come on. No go excuse hit for that. The subscribe button. No excuse for the subscribe. I'm the membership thing. I'm not right. going to twist anybody's arm. No, I mean, oh, you we, need to subscribe. We are extra appreciative of anyone who's super generous and is a member, but we know that that's not available for everyone, and we totally understand. But yeah. you better subscribe. Yeah, you got to subscribe. It's a freebie. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, very cool. All right, we love you guys. We love you we'll guys. We'll see you next time. We got to clean up. Wish you were here to help us clean because <laughs> I hate the cleaning part. Let me go get my mitts. Where's, where's my lobster mitts? Oh my God, <gasps> do not. Where's no. my lobster mitts? Oh, you made a lobster recipe without um, your lobster mitts? I, oh. Hold on. And how could you people out there not remind me? We made a couple of them lately. Arr, we're back. All right. Anyway, so. Oh my God. <laughs> help, help me. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. Lobster man. All right. Very good. All What's right. With that? What is that? You're like yanking my hair out. I'm just kind of. Will you knock it off? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. You know what to do. Follow, follow us. Follow us. <laughs>did I say whack? You said whack. Okay. You can always cut that out. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a blooper. <laughs> That's just my life. Never going to eat that much food. Oh, I thought the same thing. Oh, we're never going to eat this all. We'll have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, are you ready? Anyway. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. All right. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Come on. Right. What are you 
doing. I'm, I'm showing the best part of the Florida fishing. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> From now on. Cam I mean, show. <laughs> I think that's what you think it is. Let me know when you're ready to Listen. stop messing around. That's getting cut out. <laughs> this is the leftovers for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> not gonna. Not gonna cut it. It was delicious. <laughs>